All right, moving on to another combat fighter. This one, uh, not as likable as Triple G. No. This is Melvin Gallant. He's a former UFC fighter who was arrested. We have his, You're looking at his mugshot right now, and he was arrested for that violent rampage in a Colorado bar earlier this month. Now, remember, we showed you the CU on an earlier show. You saw him on September 3rd uh, pushing people around, and then he knocks this dude out cold in the mm. middle of a bar around 2 o'clock in the morning. Just a jerk. He's a professional fighter, and he's picking on people who are just regular bar right. patrons. A, a guy who was an up-and-coming star in the UFC actually beat Jeremy Stevens, who's a stud himself, back in the day. So this guy can fight, and he's knocking out regular yeah, he's Joes been in, in a bar. He's been in the octagon with guys like Nate Diaz, Justin Gaethje, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. I mean, big names. This yes. guy is a is a seasoned, legit Top fighter. level fighter. And he's beating up drunk people in the middle of a Colorado bar. What a jerk. So he, got arrest. so he left the bar after the incident, but cops issued a warrant for his arrest, and now we've learned he has been taken into custody. The crazy part is how he got taken into custody is even what crazier. Happened? He had a court date for another violent incident where he was accused of attacking a woman, his girlfriend, back in April. Okay. So the woman called cops and said, this dude hit me in the face and strangled me. So they came to the home in Colorado in April, and he was arrested for strangulation. The woman told police that she was just asking him, she said, we've been dating for a while, and I asked him when he was going to leave his wife and you know date me seriously so we could have a relationship. And he strangled And that's when he flipped out. Allegedly? And got physical with me. And so he was arrested at a, at a court date on September 10th. So cops showed up to the, to the court date on September 10th and took him into custody. Wait, the so they fight. waited him for his domestic violence case and they yeah. just picked him off right there so, for the bar fight. Exactly right. So now he's not only facing domestic violence charges from back in April, but now he's also been charged with assault for the bar attack in September. Long story short, this dude is up to his eyeballs in trouble and I don't see a way out, especially well, when you have that video. Right. He's still sitting in jail as we speak right now, has $5,000 cash bonds, so he needs to pay that before he can even be let go onto the street. Yeah. This guy is just a thug, though. Like, well, <laughs> well, first off, we should say this allegedly. Alleged, he hasn't been convicted allegedly. of anything. But it's, it's hard, though, Evan, when you're, at least with the bar fight, we're looking at it, and it, it seemingly is Melvin, and he, and he knocked that guy out cold, so yeah. uh, uh, it's, it's tough to defend this guy when you're hearing the it, things it, that he might have done. It's sad, not only because he hurt all of those people, which is obviously the most important thing, that those people got hurt, well, he's but also, what a waste of talent. This guy could have been a real superstar, but he seems to have thrown uh, a lot of his career and his life away. It's sad. If you like what you just saw, videos, great stories, and crazy photos, we've got more like it every single night on TMZ Sports on FS1.